All right, I guess it's time for the uh, Prometheus functional update. Uh, there we go. Uh, welcome uh, to this month's Prometheus functional update. I'm Ben Koche, I'm the Prometheus lead. Uh, Joshua is our product manager. Uh, Powell, Kevin, and Julius are engineers on the team. Um, most of what we've been working on has been, of course, for 9.3. Uh, we have uh, auto detection uh, uh, of known metric of uh, known metrics for common services is a new feature that we're wanting to add for 9.3. But this has still been a little bit stuck in review uh, uh, because it's quite a bit. Uh, of work to get this to, to happen. So this may slide to 9.4. Uh, hope we'll see how this goes when, if we can get this into 9.3. Uh, on the other hand, uh, we did finally get the uh, feedback to impact on merge request uh, feature into the new into 9.3. And we also got uh, the Prometheus Ruby library uh, added to the uh, for unicorn apps. Uh, or for basically for any of the main Rails code base uh, with a prototype for the uh, for Unicorn. So now we have uh, the ability to have metrics uh, internally inside uh, a running GitLab instance. Uh, other changes, uh, we've been moving some of the database monitoring from the GitLab monitor process to the Postgres exporter uh, in order to separate concerns uh, in the Prometheus style of, of application first metrics. We're uh, still have a few things that we want, need to move so that we can no, we no longer need to have a database connection for both the GitLab monitor and the Postgres exporter, uh, simplifying operations for uh, running uh, Prometheus metrics on uh, GitLab components. Uh, we also updated the Kubernetes node discovery to use the, the proxy uh, as the Kubernetes community is moving toward a more secure model for metrics collection. Um, and then finally, we've updated the omnibus configuration for uh, using an external database. So if, if a GitLab customer uh, is running an external Postgres database, or uh, they'll be able to get that con automatically configured inside uh, their, uh, their, their GitLab install, instead of only working with the internal database. Uh, so on the merge request side, we now have a spark line for showing uh, increase and decrease and uh, memory memory usage for uh, a merge request. Uh, this has been a, a long time coming in and took a, quite a while because it was blocked on uh, the merge request widget redesign. Uh, on the auto detection side, we have uh, this is what we have in a review. So we'll be able to just uh, detect and display common common metrics from different applications for things like memory usage, response times, and throughput. And so we're, we're getting closer to the, to, the, to the really big goal of having general purpose metrics for, for applications being deployed by GitLab. Uh, and then we're also working on for 9.3. Uh, is this for 9.3 or 9.4? Uh, I guess I don't remember off the top of my head uh, that this is going to, we're going to be working on an auto deployment for Prometheus uh, to Kubernetes. I believe this is actually a 9.4 feature uh, that we'll be working on, uh, that you'll be able to automatically get a Prometheus server in your Kubernetes deployment. Uh, on the 9.4 side, we're going to be adding more. Uh, we'll be adding the additional metric support uh, if it slides from 9.3. Uh, there will be additional time series and a single chart. So we'll be able to display uh, multiple time series in a single chart uh, in, the, in the normal metrics view. Uh, we'll, be for, we'll be working on some EE features for modern uh, and displaying canary data. And we're going to continue implementing the unicorn and uh, hopefully sidekick metrics uh, for nine, within the 9.4 release. And this will uh, open up a huge uh, uh, bunch of metrics that other teams are going to be wanting to add for things like Giddily. Uh, on the production side, we're going to be helping uh, try and get influx DB metrics out of the, the current code base and into Prometheus so that we have this, uh, we can fill, fill the gap before we have uh, feature parity between the native Prometheus unicorn metrics and the existing influx DB metrics. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I can go to questions.
Awesome. Quiet. No questions. All right. Thanks, everybody. Uh, have 20, 24 minutes back.